How's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is Friday, let's see, September the 7th. So we're almost at the end of this year. So today I want to talk about Christ in the Old Testament. Um, this is really, really uh, amazing study that if you're doing a personal Bible study, uh, <clears throat> I highly recommend that you study uh, Christ. Uh, in the Old Testament and how it relates to the uh, see here one second here and then how um, and, and how God truly uh, basically foreshadows uh, what's to come for example if I can get this uh, it talks about the prophecies of Jesus's birth uh, for example like in, a, in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 says I will bless those who bless you and whoever curse you I will curse and all people on earth will be uh, will be blessed through you. Okay, number one is the nations will be blessed through Abraham. Sorry, through Abraham's lineage. And how does this fulfill? In Acts chapter three, verse twenty-five through twenty-six, talks about and as sorry, and you are heirs. Of the prophets and of the covenant God made with your fathers, He says to uh, sorry He says to Abraham, through your offspring all people on earth will be blessed. When God raises up His servants, He sends him first to to you to be sorry to you to bless you by turning each each of you from your wicked ways okay number two God's covenant with uh, Isaac's ancestors for example uh, Genesis chapter 17 verse 19 then God says yes but your wife Sarah will bear you a son and will uh, and you will call him Isaac and I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. And how does this fulfilled in Romans chapter 9 verse 7? No, because they are, his descendants are, they are called, sorry, for they are Abraham's, Abraham's children. On the contrary, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be uh, re re recruited. Uh, another example um, a version will be uh, sorry, a version will give birth and he will he will be called Emmanuel. Uh, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him uh, Emmanuel and then that fulfills uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 35 the angel answered the Holy Spirit will come upon you up sorry the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Um let's see. Uh, Christ's ministry will destroy the devil's work. Uh, this is in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. And I will be evident between you and the woman, and 
in, in between your offspring and hers, I will crush your head and I will strike his heel. And that fulfills in First John chapter 3, verse 8. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The, the reason the Son of God appears was appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Okay. Uh, and the list goes on and on. And I just want to read you a few. Um, it is so powerful to see Jesus Christ fulfilling prophecies left and right. And it is awesome. I tell you, you know, if you're going to do a study of Christ in the Old Testament, you know, it's very, very important, you know, to really be excited of what the Lord has done in your life, you know. So, yeah, so that's all I got for today, folks. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again later.